Do I have to start off by telling people not to eat Tide Pods? Just don't do it. They do look really good though. Hi, hello, this is Jules the Human here and I wanted to start a new series on this. Memes of the month. Every month, at the end of the month, we're gonna be updating our meme calendars together and talking memes that were popular, memes that didn't work. And I want you to let me know if I miss any memes at all. I don't think I'm technically a meme expert, but I do know what's culturally relevant and I'm gonna get through them and talk about some of the memes for January 2018. Before we start off, no, the Logan Paul stuff was not a meme, that's not funny. No, we're not discussing that here in this episode. So for the month of January, there were two front runners when talking about memes. We had some really good runner-ups though. Well, first off, it's pronounced meme. First off, not meme, not meh meh, not whatever you're gonna come up with. Meme, let's get it right because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some older people that are gonna be watching this. And this is to help older people understand what the kids are doing these days and why the kids are eating those damn Tide Pods. Meme, first off, let's go. Like I said, there were some runner-ups for I guess the best memes of the month. We had the video that was going around everywhere and being placed into everything. Don't touch my spaghetti. <laughs> that was probably the best I've ever done it. That was a really good one. We had the car veering off into the turn lane really fast into something that you really like. That was a good meme. And we had some other ones here, but yes, like I already said, I wanna talk about Tide Pods. Why we're eating them, why it's bad, and why you should not try it. So eating Tide Pods goes all the way back to the straight dope message thread. In 2013, you can see remnants of it in a 2015 The Onion article. So this has been sort of going around the internet for a while now, but for some reason at the end of December going into January, it kind of just exploded. Exploded on Twitter as something that you should never do, talking about Tide Pods as the forbidden fruit. And ever since then, they've been popping up so many other forbidden fruit that we've never thought about eating until you actually put it into that context. Yeah, those little marbles with the color inside look really good to eat, but should you put them in your mouth? No. Should you encourage children to put them in their mouth? No. It gets me really upset because now they're getting rid of Tide Pods and that was something that we used to clean our clothes and something that was really interesting as a product. And now I think starting tomorrow, February 1st, they're gonna discontinue Tide Pods altogether. So good job, internet. We got rid of Tide Pods, no worries. That's how you do it. Try and get people to eat them. But like I said, it exploded on Twitter. It became a YouTube thing, the Tide Pod Challenge, where you can actually watch people bite into these things full of detergent, tasting them and spitting them out. Some very popular YouTubers are doing it as well, putting us YouTubers in a very bad light, if I do say so myself. But you know it was bad when it finally got to Facebook probably about a week later, because everybody that knows memes knows that Facebook gets it last. When adults were asking about Tide Pods, why are people eating them? Why do I see them in food? Tide Pod recipes. It's ridiculous. And I think right now by making this memes of the month video and it being February, I think it's time to bury the Tide Pod meme. Salute you Tide Pod for everything you did in the beginning of January, 2018. Another huge meme that I wanted to talk about that took the gaming world by storm and then every other world on the internet, Ugandan Knuckles. Now I love Sonic, don't get me wrong. When Ugandan Knuckles came out, it was pretty funny, a little bit racist. It was interesting how everything went down. So you see this little Knuckles character? Yeah, he made a big stink on this game called VR Chat, but that's not where the meme originated from. It started way back in 2016 when YouTuber Virtually Vain uploaded a video of him playing Call of Duty Black Ops playing an African drug lord, saying lines like, follow me, I know the way, things like that. On February 20th, 2017, YouTuber Gregzilla uploaded a review of Sonic Lost World that featured a parodied animation of the character Knuckles. Now, deviant artist Tidiest Flyer released a 3D animation of this character. Later last year, December 22nd, YouTuber Stallsby uploaded a video called You Do Not Know The Way, where it shows footage of VR chat and a bunch of Ugandan Knuckles swarming around people, clicking as they did, and saying some of their other catchphrases that they've been using. Okay, this sort of spread like wildfire. It was ridiculous. I would see Ugandan Knuckles everywhere. While a lot of people did have a problem with it, it was borderline racist. People even got mad at the company Razor for tweeting a picture that a fan made of their Ugandan Knuckles meme for the company. This was their response. 
But really, if you know VR chat, you know it's already a shit show. And this was really interesting and put VR chat in my face and showed me that with great power comes great responsibility and knowing the internet community, they don't use it very well. I already knew that they were gonna fuck it up, whatever, it's okay. So if you see a little red guy walking around everywhere on the internet, I'm gonna say that it's dead. Come this show, when this show releases, I think Uganda Knuckles is dead. Let's bury these two memes, January 2018. Rest in peace Uganda Knuckles, rest in peace Tide Pods. And those were the two memes that I wanted to talk about this month. Again, I'm gonna be doing this series at the end of every month and I'm super excited because this was a lot of fun. I really like memes, I'm really into meme culture, and I just thought I'd make a whole show about it. So let me know right down there in the comments what memes did I miss in January. I know memes change almost every day on the internet. There's some places I'm not at on the internet, so let me know what I missed. You can also send me memes anywhere on the internet, at Jules the Human, at Jules the Human on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, go follow me, do all that good stuff. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, I'm gonna be posting new videos every Wednesday and every weekend. Hit that little bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a video. So yeah, I've been Jules the Human and I'll see y'all next time.